My top Instagram strategies. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you exactly what I did in order for us to now get 50,000 new followers every single month. I'm gonna be talking about not just the strategies, but also down to the tactics on how we can actually make it happen. Let's just quickly head over to my laptop right now. And one of the things I'd like to share with you is these few tweaks and strategies that we implemented that's currently getting us a very, very steady influx of follows every single day. And our strategy when it comes to posting, how we optimize it, and how this is actually getting us an additional 50, 60,000 follows every single month. Okay, so I'm not just gonna show you how to get more followers, but I'm also gonna show you how this actually leads to monetization. And if you stay towards the end, you have that clarity in terms of not just how to get followers, but really how does this actually convert into dollars. So what I'm gonna do is, let's just head over to my Instagram feed. One of the things you'll notice straight away is there seems to be this variety of things going on. There's like a video, and then there's like a quote card, and then there's an image, and then there's like an illustration, and then there's a viral video, and then same thing again, this rotation that makes my wall not seem blend, right? So let's talk about how do we actually make that happen and how does it actually work? And also how am I getting the engagements as well as the visibility, okay? So make sure you understand these few strategies if Instagram's new to you, if you're a seasoned veteran. So number one, the first thing that you wanna notice when I'm looking through my entire feed and wall, you will notice that all these type of posts, the format of me creating it is based on best practices that I notice other influencers or thought leaders in my space, not the platform my space, but in my industry is actually doing. And I am modeling what works. So for example, like let's say this video over here, building followers and monetizing on Instagram where I have this Q&A video type of style. This isn't original. I've, I think maybe it was Gary Vee. I saw someone do it and I thought, hey, that's a good idea. So the first thing is to look at and follow the people that is crushing it in your industry that you know is doing well. And the way you want to do that is not because you want to copy them because copying is unethical, but rather you want to be able to understand and model and set benchmarks of what is proven to work right now. Somebody else has figured it out. So if you take a look at what I'm doing over here, all these different formats is based upon a best practice. And even though this is original, this is like hand drawn by my team, this format of drawing stuff in a cartoon image is not original. So one of the things you wanna do is you wanna understand what is working right now by really just first of all, changing your mindset of social media by shifting from being consumer to a producer. Now, what does that mean? It means that when you are following all these different people, you gotta tell yourself not to be drawn into this rabbit hole of being just consumed into social media, looking at what your friends had for lunch or watching funny cat dog videos because that's what most people do use social media for. You use social media as a consumer. But right now you're gonna change the mindset and come from the angle of a producer. I don't go on social media to look at what my friends ate or where they're traveling or what they're complaining about in life. I go on social media to purely look at the people that I follow admire and respect, the ones that's crushing it, what is working right now? Because social media is always changing. So step number one, follow the people and notice what it is that they're doing. Once you do that, you want to list out what are your core messages. Notice the people that you follow. Don't you notice they seem to be saying the same thing over and over and over again? It's not about saying new things all the time but it's around saying and doubling down on your core messaging and doing it really well. So like for me, I listed out my core messages. I always talk about speaking. I talk about entrepreneurship. I talk about mindset and personal development. I talk about online marketing. 
So my core messages mix with my personal stories. So one of the things you want to do is think about your main pillar core messages. Okay, you're going to list it out because if you take a look at my wall, my feed, I'm always rotating between these few topics. What are your topics? Once you do that, now, so this is still the big picture type of strategies, okay, before we go into the tactical ones. Once you understand your core messaging, notice what I'm doing next. I'm now optimizing each post with a few different things. So for example, like this video here, notice that in each different post, there will always be the hashtags. So what am I doing? I am optimizing it. Okay, now how do you optimize every post? I optimize it utilizing these few things. Number one, hashtags. Hashtags is what gets your post discovered. And you wanna have a variety. So Instagram allows you to have up to 30 hashtags. Notice my hashtags, sometimes it's part of my comment, sometimes it's part of my post. Another thing that I'm doing is if I have images, one of the things that I'll do with my images, I will put in a location. Okay, now, why would I want to have a location associated to it? The second one way of optimizing it, and by the way, so you notice I'm talking about strategy, this is the tactics. Location is another way for your posts to get discovered. Because now people, when they're searching based on where a certain location is, they'll be able to see all the top results. How do you optimize based on hashtag locations? Again, based on number one, the people that you follow, Notice the hashtags they always use. Notice the kind of messaging. When you understand your car messaging, that brings us to number four. You can optimize all you want, but optimization is kind of like the, the sprinkle and the spice on top, okay? The main course is really based upon your image and your story. Does your story have emotion to it? So notice that the choice of images, if I were to kind of go back in here, I'm always kind of rotating and having a good variety. So sometimes it could be like me speaking at events. Sometimes it could be like, this was in like Disneyland. This was me shooting my, singing my music video, right? So, but most importantly, notice that every single post, there's a story. In every single post, I'm always thinking about how can my post make a person slightly better off in all of them? Am I educating them? Am I inspiring them? Am I teaching something? Is it funny? Is it engaging? And how can I amplify that through a story? My train of thought and how I train my team to write my posts, I don't write my posts anymore, but basically, they all follow this format. There's an image, there's a story that evokes an emotion, that teaches them something about belief, life, mindset, entrepreneurship, that is again based upon my core message. What is your core message? So once you understand your core message, you'll be able to write up your post and how you get engagements is number five. So the only thing Instagram really cares about are engagements. What are engagements? Comments, likes, shares, when people tag their friends. So that's when you wanna have a call to action. In every single one of my posts, you'll notice I will always have something that says, share your thoughts with me in the comments below. It could be tag two friends that needs to hear this message, right? What's your call to action? Get people to comment and make it kind of related to the post that you're making. So the more comments you have, the more engagements you have, and that is when you wanna be replying to them. So now this is tough, I'm guilty of this, but these are five things. Okay, so this is the tactics. This is how you start growing your following by being consistent, by beginning the end in mind. But all of that, in order to build this following, it's all just vanity metrics. You gotta understand why are you doing this, okay? Now, the numbers have to work out as well. So let's talk about monetization. Now, Instagram has got a feature where it's Instagram stories and people can see behind the scenes to what it is you're doing. So one of the things that you can do is after you pass 10,000 followers, you can do like a swipe up feature where you can get people to swipe up to go to a specific page of yours. Now, this could be your offer. This could be an affiliate product. This could be a paid shout out that you do for someone else where they pay you in order to do a shout out. But this is where you can monetize. And to give you an example, let's say you start following this and you start building your following, you start getting traction. And let's say you get 100,000 followers. Now, the math to this is kind of like this. If you have 100,000 followers, if you are engaging them, you could get about 5% 
to watch your story. So one of the things that you could do is like, I, I could literally go to my Instagram right now and I could do a story. It would be like this. People get to see behind the scenes to what I'm doing and I'm gonna record. So here we are another day filming at the studio. Uh, one of the things you're gonna notice that I'm doing right now is I am shooting a traffic se uh, series to support my friend Russell Brunson who's gonna be releasing this book, Traffic Secrets, real soon. And if you wanna be able to get this free training um, and exclusive bonuses where I'm gonna be showing you how you can really implement the strategies in this book. This book is gold, by the way. It's gonna be out in a couple of weeks, three weeks time. Uh, make sure you follow me behind the scenes to see what it is that I'm working on. Okay, boom. So now people gotta see behind the scenes to what it is that I'm doing. Man, I look really tired over here. I am going to save this and then I'll post it, right? So in other words, the people that follow me, roughly about 5% of people watch my story. So if you have 100,000 followers, 5% of that would be approximately 5,000 people. Out of the 5,000 people, if you call have a call to action, which is like, hey, by the way, if you'd like to find out more about this thing over here that I'm doing, then swipe up to head over to website name.com. If you have a swipe up, it's very probable that you would get about 10% of people utilizing that swipe up and you'll get about 500 swipes or clicks to your website. Now, just think about this way. In most cases, if you were to run a Facebook ad to get 500 clicks, your cost per click, depending on what market you're on, could higher or lower, it could be about a dollar, right? So if you would have to pay for these clicks, in terms of paying Facebook, you would have paid $500 for 500 clicks. So the first thing that happened is you just saved yourself $500 because now you have a following on Instagram. And if you do this just once a week, four weeks in, you just saved yourself $2,000 in ad spend from trying to buy clicks. Now on top of that, guess what? People are going to your funnel, your sales process, or your affiliate link, and that's where you actually make money as well and you monetize. So if your earnings per click on in general, if let's say you earn $2 per click, if your EPC is $2, and you're getting 2,000 clicks a month, that means you would be making about $4,000. And this swing, so what I'm trying to get you to see is, you just saved yourself $2,000 a month. You made $4,000 if your earnings per click is $2. So the swing, the difference is actually $6,000. So the ROI of having a following of 100,000 people is a minimum of $6,000 a month if all you're doing is one swipe up campaign a week. It's gonna be worth more if you can get more people to watch your story, if you can get more people to swipe up. But this is why I want you to start seeing the ROI of this. For a really long time, I thought Instagram was stupid. It's like, I don't understand stuff. But when I started doing it, and when I saw like the swipe up feature and getting people to see like the, the intangible goodwill of having people see you and what it is that you do behind the scenes, that thing is priceless. So like for me, when I just did that, whole story on, hey guys, like traffic secrets coming out soon. When it actually comes out because they've been anticipating it and they're watching it behind the scenes, that is when they're a lot more excited when a thing actually happens. So this is literally how I built my following strategically, but also at the same time, understanding the numbers to back it up. So as always, let me know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway is from this video. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts in terms of this entire traffic series that we're building up together, what you liked about it, any feedback, any questions, let me know in the comments below. So if you like this video on traffic, this book right here that was just released by my friend Russell Brunson um, was, is literally the number one book on traffic. I literally paid $50,000 for this book. And the reason for that is because I'm part of Russell Brunson's mastermind that's $50,000 a year. And one of the things that he did is he gave this book to us uh, about half a year before it went public. But it's finally live right now. And if you like to get a copy of this book, the details are below this video in the description. And one of the things that I did to support my friend Russell Brunson is I've prepared all these different bonuses that helps you with the streamlining of your traffic creating systems around it, but most importantly, implementing all of the strategies in here. Details are all below this link. If you're gonna get the number one best book on traffic, you might as well get some killer bonuses together with it. Details are below in the description box. I'll see you on the other side.